Hey, what's happening, fam? Welcome to BoxFit. I am Dhruv, and this is your 30 minutes of full body strength workout today. It's a crazy workout. You're gonna, it's gonna help you to tune up. It's gonna help you burn a lot of calories today if you will stay with me till the end. Now, all you need for this workout is two dumbbells. Could be 2.5, could be 5 kilo, could be 7.5, all according to your level. All I want you to do, I want you to do is just keep those dumbbells right beside you, your water bottles right beside you, and we'll go for a crazy workout today, all right? Starting with the mobility, the easy peasy, the first one you're doing is called arm circles, all right? How to do it? Rotate your both arms five times forward without bending your elbow, five times back, 30 seconds, just give me that, okay? Let's go for it, let's play hit on this workout in three, in two, in one, and here we go. I hope you're ready to crack this workout along with me. I'm literally pumped up. You know, you really need that pre-workout. If you have took your coffee shot, if you ate something before the workout, cheers to you because you're ready. Keep going. I said easy. Three, two, one, and change, change, change. Going for our second mobility. It's again for your shoulders and for your legs. It's called inch warms. Now, how to do this one? Feet shoulder width apart. I mean, keep them under your shoulder. You squat down. Palms in between your legs. Walk forward to a push-up position. Now, once you're there, you walk back and stand straight up. Easy, right? Let's do that for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and follow along with me. Let's go for it. Go all the way forward, all the way back, getting those shoulders warmed up, getting that blood flow through our joints and muscles. Keep going, drop down a high or a hell in the comment section if you're right here working out with me. Let me know. Last five, four, three, two, one, and change, change, change. The next one we have, it's called alternate touches. We are doing good so far. Feet wider than your shoulders. Now from there, all you're gonna do is you bend down forward, Take your left hand onto your right toe and stretch out your other hand all the way up. You go same thing other side. Now 30 seconds, repeat that. Three, two, one, and here we go. Come on, let me know guys, how are you feeling today? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling lazy? Oh, we're ready for this workout. Keep going, keep switching. Open up your spine. Try not to bend your knees. Come on. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Good job. The fourth mobility we have now is for your legs. It's a full body workout, as I already told you. So you really got to warm your legs as well because you'll be working on them. You give me one squat, two lunges for 30 seconds. So we'll squat all the way down, keeping our spine straight. We'll take a step forward. We'll drop our back knee down as low as we can, not touching it on the floor. Come back. Other leg forward. Go back. Now you're going to repeat that. One squat, two lunges for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Because I'm super ready. In three, two, one, and let's get started. One squat, one lunge on your left side, one on your right side. That's how we're doing it. Not too complicated, yes? Keep going, come on, let's raise our core temperature. Let's get warmed up. Let's get ourselves ready for a killer, intense 30 minutes of workout. Almost here, last five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good job. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We have one more mobility now, that's in our high plank position. So let me explain it to you how we're gonna do it. You are in a push up position. Palms right under your shoulders, head to toe in a straight line, okay? And once you're there, you will drop your hip down, chest facing forward. That's, we, we call it a cobra pose, okay? Now from there, you go back, take your hip all the way back. Try touching your heels down, that's a mountain. Keep switching in between these positions for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Oh yeah, this is a really good mobility. You know, it really stretches your lower back, your spine. It really helps you open up that spine. Come on, keep going. Inhale every time as you go forward. And you're going back, you will breathe out. Keep following along with me. We're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Easy peasy. Shake your arms, shake your head. All right. 
That was our mobility walk. We'll move on to our warm up. There are some exercises that'll help you raise your core temperature to get that heart rate up and to get that blood flow again. It will make you ready for the workout. Are you ready for it? Let's go for it. The first movement you think is jumping jacks. Quite simple. I just want to see that little sweat on your face. That shows that your body is warmed up, yeah? So 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Easy peasy, feet together, hand on your side. You jump out, hands are going all the way up. You jump in your hands back, right? 30 seconds, get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. Let's go, fam. Let's jump into some cardio movements just to get ourselves warmed up. Trust me, I'm not making you do cardio in our main workout. It's strength, so we'll focus on strength today. 15 seconds. Easy peasy. Last 10 seconds. Keep going. Now, if jumping is hard, I would suggest you to go with the stepping. But I guess you already know that no stopping now. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. The next movement I want you to do is called in and out squat. So your feet together, very similar to a jumping jack. You jump out. Squat all the way down, jump in your feet together. 30 seconds, repeat that. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Come on. Keep switching. Keep that smile on your face. Because guess what? You're right here, working out with me, pushing yourself. And today you will see that how, how strong you are in this workout. In case no one told you, I'm here to tell you that you're stronger than you even think. Last 10 seconds, stronger than your excuses, stronger than anything that comes in your way. Three, two, and one. Woo, good job, our body's warmed up, muscles are prepared. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump into our main workout. Let me explain you how we're working today. In each set, I'll give you two to three exercises. And for those two to three exercises, you will give me two sets, all right? Easy, and we'll work for 45 seconds on. 10 to 15 seconds of break. I'll give you that break so that you can switch, you can catch your breath. At that time, I just want you to breathe and enjoy, all right? First exercise we have, it's called squat and shoulder press, or we call it a thruster. Now that's a really, really effective movement. How to do it? Keep take two dumbbells, place them right on your shoulder, elbows pointing slightly out, feet shoulder width apart. You will squat all the way down. Come all the way up, and once you're done with your squat, you will add a shoulder press. Pressing these dumbbells over your head, bringing them back on the shoulder. Now repeat, add both the movements together, and there you are. So 45 seconds of thruster, that's what we're doing. Get yourself ready, it's time to work, baby. We go in three, two, one, and let's go. A single squat, a single shoulder press, adding them together to burn off those calories. Come on, it's a compound movement. You're working on multiple joints and a lot of multiple, multiple muscles together. You know, these movements, these compound movements really helps you burn a lot of calories. Because you're putting in more effort and you're moving multiple joints. So absolutely gonna burn a lot of calories. Just put in your effort. Try to give in your best and there you are. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. We're almost there. Last three, two, one, and relax. Good job. The next movement we have, it's called bent over rows. Now, that's for your back, my friends. How to do it? Feet, hip with the bar, shoulder with the bar, as you want to keep them. You gotta do a deadlift movement now. That's a hinge movement. How to do it? Take those dumbbells, keep them on your side. Push your back as much as you can, maintaining your spine. The moment the dumbbells are crossing your knee, you stay there. Now holding this position, I want you to use your arms to bring those dumbbells up and you go back down. Easy, right? 45 seconds, let's follow that along with me. Take the lighter weight. To start this movement, once you feel good, you can go up to the heavy weight. In three, two, one, and go. Keep going, oh my, my. I am really feeling that burn on my back. It really feels good to get strong, right? Keep going. Come on, pull these dumbbells up close to your hip or close to your navel. If you're keeping these dumbbells close to your shoulders like this, now here you're flexing your bicep. That's what we have to avoid here. To work on our back, we'll keep these dumbbells close to your hip, close to our navel, and we'll keep moving. One thing also, keep that in mind, that you're not moving your body. 
Keep that posture right and keep going. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Isn't it effective? It is for sure. Yeah, it really works on the back. Cool, if you really felt it on your back, let me know. Drop down a thumbs up in the comment section to let me know that you really felt it. And that shows me that you're doing it right. Cool, done with this, we'll do second round now. That was our technique work, we did first round. In the second round, what I want you to do is, if you wanna go with the heavier weights, please take that. Go faster, no stopping, we'll get more reps in this time. So starting with the thrusters, or we call it squat and press. For 45 seconds, in three, in two, in one. Here we go. I want a full squat, okay? So no half squats here. I want a full squat, you drop down your hip all the way down. Then you press those dumbbells over your head. Keep going. Every time you come up, you gotta breathe out. Work on those shoulders, come on. We're almost there. Try not to give up. Just getting started. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job, my friends. 10, 15 seconds of break. Wanna catch a sip of water? Take it and get back. We're going for the bent over rows. If you want to take heavy weights, feel free to take it. I already told you, but we're not stopping now. Get ready. Three, two, one, and here we go. Bent over rows. Let's go for it. Come on, pull those dumbbells up. Engage your back. Elbows high. Chest out. Maintain that posture. Here we go. Almost here. Last 15 seconds. Come on, you've got this. Last five, come on, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, amazing job. Very good, we are done with this, our very first spare, very first superset. Good job, clap for yourself. Now I'm giving you a 30 seconds of break here. Catch your breath and let me explain you what we're doing in the next set. In the next set, we have two different exercises. Now this, the first exercise will work on your hamstrings, your lower back, and even your upper back, if you're doing it right. Let's call it deadlift. Now, how to do it? I want you to take a little, oh, oh, my bad. You know, I always drop my dumbbells down when I get crazy. All right, so we'll do deadlifts. You take heavy dumbbells in the last time. Because this movement is compound, so you will be able to lift heavy. Feet hip width apart, that means right under your hip. Dumbbells on your side. From there, you have to imagine there's a band on your pelvis here, and someone is pulling your hip back just like that. And, the, and at the same time, you will drop your upper body down, maintaining your spine. That means keeping it straight, you come back up, okay? Once again from the side, you drop down the dumbbells, back straight, all the way down, all the way up. This is how you do it. Now, 45 seconds, you give me this. I'll explain the second movement in the break, okay? Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Perfect. Make sure you're extending your hip fully as you come up. It really, it will really, really help you to engage your hip muscles and the back of your thigh. Keep going. Okay. Every time you come up, I want you to breathe out. <sighs> breathe out, breathe in, go down, repeat that. You're doing a good job. You're doing a great job, I would say. 15 seconds. Come on, in case you have any doubt, for any question, you can please drop that down in the comment section. We'll try to get back to you. Keep going, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Easy peasy. All right. Next movement we're doing, it's called Russian twist. You can take a 2.5 or a five pillar dumbbell. Absolutely up to you, but please watch out for how we are doing this. You sit down on the floor. That is to work on your abs now. Feet off the floor. Keep balance your body on your hip. Take that dumbbell onto your right side, rotating your upper body, then onto your left side, and you gotta repeat that, okay? 45 seconds, your core will be on fire. Let's do that in three, two, one, and here we go. Woo, that's one of my favorite exercise. 
I'm not kidding because it's effective. I know it will kill me, but at the same time, it will really help me to shred my core, right? To build those muscles and it will make me stronger. Come on. Keep going. 20 seconds. Come on. Keep going, fam. Let's get some work in. Almost there. We're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! As I said, that's quite effective. If you're actually shouting like me, that means you felt it. Good job. We're done with our first set. Now we know these two exercises, right? If you're still not clear with your form, we'll do one more round. We'll focus on the form, get in more reps. We'll go faster and heavier and stronger. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, starting in 3, 2, 1, and let's go for it. Also guys, remember, breathing is really important, okay? If you're breathing properly, providing that oxygen to your muscles at the right time, trust me, you won't get tired easily, and that is how you'll be able to get more reps. So you can see how effective, how important that is. Keep going now. Continue moving. We're not stopping. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Cheers to all of you. If you completed this 40, these 45 seconds, going with a Russian twist next, get, let's get down. Whew. Catch your breath, catch your breath. If your heart rate is going up, take a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and you're ready. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, let's get ourselves moving. Let's spike our heart rate back up. Keep going, keep going, come on. This actually works on your obliques. You know what your obliques are? These, these, these are your core muscles which connects from your sides, okay? Close your reps and they look really good. Once you'll get them, trust me, they, they look, they're gonna look really, really well. Keep going, last 10 seconds. We are almost there. Come on, come on my friends. Let's work along with me. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We're done with this. Thank God. We'll move on to our next, next pair. Before that, want to have a support. I have it quickly and keep listening to me because I'm right here to explain and to help you get stronger today. All right. The movement we have now, it's called reverse fly and a hammer curl. Okay. Now, how to do it? What we're going to do is feet again, hip width apart. As we did those deadlifts and we did those bent over rows, it's quite similar. We will go down in the deadlift position back straight chest out now the dumbbells are below my knees remember that they are not here when the dumbbells are below my knees i'll maintain that posture i'll join those dumbbells together and i'll take my arms out okay so i'll take my arms out like just like i'm a bird i'm flying so my arms are going out and i'm bringing them back in that is how you do a fly okay you will do two reps of reverse fly once you're done with this you come back up now use your forearm to do a bicep or a hammer curl. Go back down, two hammer curl, two reverse fly. Give me that for 45 seconds. I know it's a bit complicated, but I also know that you can do it. Okay, we are a good learner, so let's do that. 45 seconds in three, two, one, and go. Going down in this position, taking our arms wide, flying all the way around, coming back up, two hammer curls. Repeat that. Come on, when you're doing those hammer curls, I want you to tuck your elbows in, okay? If you're swinging or moving your elbows like that, you're not gonna, gonna feel that more on the bicep. And that's where we make mistakes. So it's better to keep that form right and keep going. 15 seconds on the clock. Let's go, everyone. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one and relax good job next one we did a lot of pulling right this is the time we'll do some pushing as well 
the movement you're doing, it's called chest presses, okay? How to do chest presses? You can go a little heavy as I am taking some heavy dumbbells because I love this exercise. Okay, how to do it? You fold your knees, lie down your back. Now you will keep those dumbbells right above your chest, okay? Just as I am keeping. Take those dumbbells out a bit. Bring your elbows down. As soon as your elbows touches the floor, you press back up and join the dumbbells, okay? So take them out. Go down. Press back up. 45 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. When you're coming down, I want you to inhale. Every time you're pressing up, you breathe out. Just like that. You hear that sound, right? That's my breathing. This is how I want you to breathe. Explosively. Keep going. We are almost there. Let's push through it. Are you feeling that burn? Good job. Last three, two, one, and relax. You know, if you're feeling that burn, that means you are actually doing really good because you're engaging those muscles which we are supposed to, okay? Good job. The same two movements repeating for one more round. Reverse fly and hammer curl. Are we ready? Let's go for it. In three, in two, in one, and here we go. So one, two reverse fly. We'll come back up. Two hammer curl. You know, weight doesn't matter. Even if you're lifting 2.5 kilos and that's in, in that you're feeling burn, that burn, that means that weight is quite good for you and you should not lift heavy. If you can lift heavy with the right form, please go for it. But again, keeping the form right should be our first, first priority. Keep going. I am loving it. I, every time I walk on my bicep, seriously, I love that feeling of getting stronger. Come on. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Amazing job. Let's go back on the chest presses. 45 seconds, 40 knees, 3, 2, 1, and this is the time, let's move. Elbows all the way down, all the way down, and make sure you're not holding down like this, taking break, and then pressing it up. If you're doing that, I'm watching you, huh? That's cheat reps, I call it cheat reps, because you're cheating then. If you want to do actual reps, we'll move just like this. Keep going now, almost there, almost there. Come on. Ten seconds more. Let's put in some work. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Amazing. Clap for yourself. We are done with this set as well. Now you catch your break. And please talk to me. I am not seeing any comments. Please drop them down. Let me know if you're working out. Let me know that you are actually enjoying this workout or not. Feel free to drop down your feedback and we'd really, really love to see your comments. All right, moving on to our next, next pair. We have, yes, we have one more pair. Where are, we, where are you going? We still have time left, okay? The exercise you're doing, we'll work on our arms now. The first one is called tricep kickback. Again, a quite similar movement like bent over row, but you're not doing row at all. What I mean to say is, you will hold down in the same position, okay? So we are here, we'll do a row to bring our elbows high. Now we'll hold this position. Now elbow stays there, you just have to take those dumbbells back, extending your arms, come back in, okay? This is how you do a tricep kick back. Again, keeping your spine straight is really important. That is the first exercise, clear? Second one we have, it's called Zotman curls. Now that, my friend, is a really good exercise. Now you do a bicep curl, elbows again stays there, you turn those dumbbells around and come down slow, okay? This is how we're doing, two exercises, you know that now, 45 seconds each, 15 to 10 seconds of break, let's go for it. In three, two, one, and starting with the kickbacks, here we go. These 45 seconds should be quality reps, huh? So every, each and every dip should be quite effective with the right form. Keep going. Almost there. Last 20 seconds. Oh. 
Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! My triceps are really burning right now. If you don't know what a tricep is, this is this muscle, the back of your arm. It's burning. If it's burning, that means you actually did a great job. Moving on to the next one, Zotman curls. Bring a bicep curl, turning the dumbbells around. 45 seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. When we're turning the dumbbell around, we'll come down very, very slow. Okay? Again, bicep curl, turn it around, come back down, keep going. Chest out, shoulders back. Remember that it's really, really important. Come on, if my shoulders are slouching like this, I'm still working on my bicep, but this is not the right posture. Okay? Chest out, shoulders back. Keep going. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Amazing jump fam, we are done with our first set of these two exercises. We got the last one. Are you ready for that? Shake your arms and get yourself ready, okay? We'll do the second round of the last pair, and you got this. You can go heavy now. Come on, let's lift heavy, yeah? If we have heavier dumbbells, please go for it. Starting in three, two, one, and here we go for the tricep kick back. Feel it on the back of your arm. That is your tricep muscle. And it really helps you to, it improves your pushing strength. If you want to improve your push-ups as well, then you need to really work on your triceps too. Because that helps you to push. Keep going. We're almost there. Try not to stop. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Last time you're giving me this movement. Three, two, one, and relax. Amazing, amazing. 15, 20 seconds of break. Shake your arms. You're going for a Zotman curl. That is the last exercise. 45 seconds, and we'll do stretching after that. Get ready. Are we ready? Zotman curls are waiting for you. In three, two, one, and your 45 seconds starts now. Bicep curl, turn around. Bring them down. Yes, I'm really feeling it on my bicep now. This feeling is really awesome, you know? Keep going. Feel that peak. Feel that burn. This is how we do it. Almost there. We got 20 seconds on the clock. Keep going. 15 seconds. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Last 10 seconds now. Make sure your elbows are in and you're not slouching your shoulders again. Remember that I'm watching you. Last three, two, one, and relax. Amazing job, fam. We are done with our today's workout. Clap for yourself. Amazing job. You can rest, you can chill now. This is the time we'll move on to our stretching. Seriously, I can feel my muscles popping out. That means I did a great workout and I, I was working on those muscles, right? Relax, breathe, and please make sure if you, if you are a person who wants to work out regularly, have specific goals, want a dedicated meal plan, and a workout program, check out the description. We have our MSB Movie Star Body Project going on. You can check out those workouts. You'll get specific attention in that. And trust me, the results are amazing. You can check it out on our even Instagram page. Please make sure you gotta check it out. It's really, really helpful. You can thank me later. Now, starting the stretching, the first one we're doing is a shoulder stretch. Left arm onto your right side. Pull from your elbow and pull. Ooh. How effective is this? Feel that on the back of your shoulder and breathe. Other side, we did a lot of shoulder work. It's really important to stretch your shoulder. Three, two, one, and change. Going for a tricep stretch, one palm on your spine. Pull from your elbow and pull. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and relax. Let me know how you're feeling right now. Other side. Three, two, 
one and relax very good the next stretch you're doing is for your bicep okay so you place your left palm on the floor turn to drop down that shoulder and stay stretching your shoulder and your bicep here three two one and change other side three two one and change we'll do one last stretch because we did deadlifts so we'll stretch our uh glutes now so fold your one leg like this that's a pigeon stretch body weight in the center and you breathe you did squats and deadlifts and this is what you have to do after that every time you work on your legs other side stay here keep breathing three two one and change let's get up good job clap for yourself guys once again we are done with our workout how are you feeling let me know in the comment section and make sure uh, strength workout is not to make you tired it's to make you stronger and to get those muscles work and to get us to make ourselves stronger to make ourselves better with all those cardio or a strength movement trust me this will really help you if you really enjoyed this workout please do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel for more workouts we got to see you soon till that time you take care of yourself this is dhruv signing off bye bye Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays.